previously on SwitchCat. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your finds if you arrest that troublesome kid. I'm here to study the strange goings on. I guess that's why you're here too, Detective. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Pots and brushes. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. <laughs> now back to where we left off. Let's go down. We should go into the reception office, which I missed on the first floor. Excuse me, miss, we're just gonna walk into your office. Well then. Everything seems to be in order here. What you got on the calendar? I got this for Doris last time I had to get out of paying fees. I'm gonna have to up the ante this time. <laughs> Guy light. <laughs> She's got her face taped over the lady on the picture. Photocopier. It's an old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your button for the repair. Next. <laughs> Next. That's the price of working out, I guess. Lamp. Even the lamp is flickering. Office supplies. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half, or a lazy approximation of half. Got the scissors. We're obviously gonna make something. Some we're gonna craft something. Computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken. It's hollow, so they can store more books in it. <laughs> well, then it's time to rummage through your trash. Where's the red, violets, and blue? Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. I'll give it to him. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. Uh, you know, for evidence. I received the button. Brain wheels are turning. Let's return to the elevator, Dooley. I'm gonna put this here. I don't have the skills to wire up a normal button. Never mind this one. Maybe we can hotwire it. I'd rather try something else first. Maybe we can put glue on the button. There went that idea. What about this old library card? Paul Conway. See what he she has to say about this library card. I won't hand this in just yet. I may need it. Can I observe? Let's look at some of these items. Film viewing toy. Hey, wait, I could probably use that to look at the microfilm. Let's go. See if it works. Boink. The film is too big. It's a square head, square peg round hole situation. Let's make the film smaller. Well, I've destroyed some historical material. Let's hope there was a point to this. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Spider moths do it again. Do it again sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. Major staff cuts at the city library. Hmm. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff of one. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. It means very few people work there. Oh yeah, just Doris now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. At least they don't have to practice social distancing in this world. Computer stock goes up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right. Okay, thanks. Computer stock goes Konami. I shouldn't have read that aloud. I 
think I may have just summoned something. Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show... <laughs> Dead walk among us. I remember this case. What the... Uh, hello. He's still holding it. <laughs> Who are you and how did you get here? I'm gonna talk to you, man. I am that which can never be unseen. The ooze from your nightmares. The knower of the unknown. Right. It's not very helpful, if I'm honest. Help is there for those who know how to take it. Okay, then I'll bite. Tell me. Oh, knower of the unknown. What's going on here? Uh, I don't rightly know. Right. But I do know that the coward, Yeats, is protecting a hidden room. One that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and others lies within. The others? The others. Uh, Detective, who are you talking to? I've talked to... You know what? I, I don't even know how to explain this. It's Alistair Crowley. That's where I, that's where I recognize the hat. So, uh, Crowley, you want to see... Uh, I guess we're not going to give it to him. All right, then. Anything more to say? Secret room, mad power. Are we cool, bro? We're cool. Can I fix this? I don't need to fix this because I don't need it. Can I get in his computer? Well, I was thinking it was the Konami code, but maybe I'm messing up the uh, interface. Or I have to have the password first. Off I go. Hey, this thing lets me see ghosts. Yeats, I understand you're a coward that's hiding a room full of treasure. Pay sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another, uh, ah, another spirit. Yes, with your question, I've answered my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels the scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat? The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. Yeah, I just wanted... Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Great. Perfect. Wonderful. Thanks. I want to wander around the library like this. Well, hello there. Are you an author, too? I don't recognize you. Not like John Toss with their literary fiction. Plinkman? I wrote useful stuff like house wiring, how to do own... How to do own plumbing? You think you can fix the elevator? With right gear I could I, But I need a new button mind. Well then. Seems you're in luck. I happen to have a button the size of your whole body right here. What's all this for? Use this button to fix the elevator? I can, but won't do nothing. It needs to be conductive to make a circuit work. What if I wrap it up in this metal strip? This should make the button conductive. <laughs> How about now? Did this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see, looks like it'll do the job. Yes, yeah, just a few minutes, pop it in place. You done? Can I take this off? Leave me alone. Okay then. I suppose we'll go up to the next floor. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gale. Happy to help. It weren't something useful again. And I'm trying to figure, is that supposed to be a London accent or? It's hard to do those one after another. Got to do the London, London, Welsh, Irish, Scottish accents flip-flopping all the time. It hurts my face. Let's go mess with that kid. Pretty sure I saw people playing chess. There we go. Prechet. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. I guess there wasn't much for them to say. 
Let's go see what that other kid's... I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? Enid Blyton. Story about this kid who can see dead people. <laughs> oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Blip. I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters a lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers, DIY fanatics, horrors, the lot of them. Alright then, I think we've examined all of the ghosts on every floor. Let's go back. Onward! To the horror floor. <laughs> oh look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was never mind. You know, you're dumb. Hey, we got a window. Looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not... <laughs> I'd rather not go back out. Yeah, obviously. Because it's purple and raining. Purple rain, like the song. Book cart. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in a library, like how to cook a dinosaur if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads. Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bell. And MMO Accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. Fourth wall again. I actually did that a lot in Guild Wars 2. And I think you can trade the stalk market in uh, Animal Crossing to the same effect. Next. Edgar Allan Poe, yay! You barely make a teenage girl's whimper, Howie. That's H.P. Lovecraft and Poe. Right on. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play uncommon cliches, your penny dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works are even written by you. <laughs> That's true. Charlatan, fraud, undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You'll probably hit it because it was too scary for you. Gah! You're an infuriating man. Also, my mummy doesn't like me. And I'm crazy. Look at all these flames. Did you want a hell of an atmospheric fire hazard? Also, it's within 18 inches of the ceiling. There's no way the sprinklers could reach that if there was ever a real fire. You guys are gonna get shut down. C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. I have to go through all of these? From Axis to Zero Oxygen, a murder's primer. Okay. The dead prison murders. Dead person, sorry, dead person murders. Everyone's guilty. Haunted place. It kills. <laughs> Lemons for every meal. Gross. Murder. The pain giver. You guys move, I want to look at how many books you got here. The quirky killings. Stab fest. <laughs> Step at six. The underwhelmer. They yearn for blood. Well, I suppose we've done all the damage we can do here. He is being such a child. I am clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my atheistic horror. Your atheistic rubbish. I don't have you, mate. Come at me, you sickly twerp. You two better stop it or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. <laughs> I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right there. Not a peep. I'm going to walk around with this viewfinder on my face. Can I go past here or what? Why are you guys even doing this? I thought there was a secret room. Let's talk to that lady. Why are you wearing a Viewmaster, Detective? Uh, it's part of the game I'm playing. So the game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions. Everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye. 
What? Okay. Anything else was out of place? I need to use this glue on something. I have a feeling that there was something in the horror room that I must have missed. I already did that. Creepy bookshelf. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. Small, lesser creepy bookshelf. Candle. Pow. Ah, I see. A blight, the blighted woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I care not for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. Okay, Blighton's got his book. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Wasn't that the lady that was with uh, the kid? Soon to be determined. Excuse me, do you happen to steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellow won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. How am I meant to stop those two fighting? It's not my concern. You want this book, you stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely one that would stop their bickering. Can see the ghost too, kid? But not since you're filling his head with, detective. I see them, they're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris. She's only interested in reading the mostest, dreadfulest book sent for written. Idea. Books. By the way, is this to your to-read pile? Well, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. Can I get them? Let's see. I'd like to borrow this book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? No, I'm busy reading my book to help, sorry. Julie, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd make me a deal now, huh? Hmm. Can I have your internet password? Okay. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. I need the books kept safe until my genius is recognized. Uh, why is that uh, rooftop window locked, by the way? For health and safety. Makes sense. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons. <laughs> You're really helpful, Doris. Guy Light, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. A what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. <laughs> I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds, uh, interesting. Sounds awful, detective. If you need anything else, I'll be here unless I'm not. <laughs> well then. I wonder if there's some way I can fix this here computer. 